welcome to or welcome back to the Fitness Empowerment Podcast. I'm your host, Danny Phillips, and my goal is to empower you to take that next step on your health and fitness journey. As a fitness, health, and lifestyle entrepreneur, I will share with you stories of triumph, struggle, optimism, and empowerment. Let's dive into today's topic and get you some actionable steps to apply to your journey. I've done occupational therapy for oh shoot, 19 years now. And, um, and at the time I was working in a pediatric clinic and, you know, I've had tons and tons of patients that have had neurological issues and abnormal reflexes. Well, so I started noticing that I was having some abnormal reflexes and it's kind of technical and hard to, um, explain in non-medical terms, but the reflex that I noticed I was having is called clonus, um, and you have it in your leg. And um, it's elicited by like a, a, a quick um, stretch of the like Achilles tendon. Um, and then that will cause your your leg to kind of jump up and down. Almost kind of like you're bouncing your, your leg up and down. And being a therapist, I knew that that was caused by, in technical terms, an upper motor neuron lesion, which is not good. And, uh, and, and it's, it, you only have it if you have brain damage. So I knew this was not good. And uh, so finally, I was in my primary care doctor's office for like a urinary tract infection. And I kind of had to wait a little while. And I was just like, you know, I, sh- I should actually tell him about, you know, all these little symptoms I got going on. Because in my head, I know without a doubt there is something neurological going on. and so. I was telling him and he kind of looked at me like with his mouth hanging open, like, Oh my gosh. And uh, so I did a neurological exam and all of my reflexes were abnormal. And, uh, and he knows I'm a therapist and he knows I know what he's doing and what's good and what's bad. So he never even really said, okay, that's abnormal. He just looked at me because he knew I already knew. And so he sent me for an MRI that day, which was inconclusive. Um, So then you know, went on to the neurologist and, you know, out of all the things that could cause um, these abnormal reflexes, MS is probably your best choice because a lot of the other things will kill you. So when I started seeing Dr. Davis, um, who's a chiropractor, he's way into wellness, love that guy. Um, we all call him Doc. You know, he pretty much changed my life as far as looking at my disease from a wellness standpoint. You know, he changed my diet. The day I walked in his office, I weighed 192 pounds. My blood pressure was 148 over 114, and I think I was taking like 10 prescriptions. Well, let's talk about the diet a little more, which I thought it was super interesting that, like, okay, so when we first started working together, like on, on diet and nutrition, we started off doing kind of this tracking your macros and doing a flexible dieting and approach, and I remember you had told me that this chiropractor had issued you a wellness plan in my mind. I'm like, why would you go to a chiropractor for like a diet? <laughs> so but, what, I mean, I know you had mentioned your friend earlier, but like, did that strike you as interesting that a chiropractor was putting together this like whole self wellness plan that included diet versus just like going to get adjustments? Yeah. So, um, and he knows all this because I've told him. And uh, so, you know, you go in, you make your point. They're like, why are you here? I'm like, um, well, I have a mess and I'm here so that Carla will quit calling me every morning. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and I mean, I was just honest. So then I'm in his office, girl. Number one, his energy. And I told him this was like a ping pong ball on crack. You know, <laughs> That's That's awesome. Awesome. So, uh, so he can look at me and go, you had this problem, this problem, this problem. And I was like, okay, holy crap. Like he hasn't even looked at my medical history or anything. And he could tell by looking at me, all these things that were wrong with me. And I was like, uh, okay, you're like freaking me out a little bit, you know? Um, and so we talked, he talked to me about diet and stuff. And I actually being a therapist and skeptical, like I went and I looked up, you know, 
the scope of uh, practice for a chiropractor, you know, their licensure, what are they allowed to do, not allowed to do, all of that. Because I'm like, you know, between I'm only here so Carla will quit calling me and, and not really knowing a chiropractor can really get into more wellness stuff. Um, and his heart is about helping people. And he actually would prefer to have a patient like me um, where he can directly affect their quality of life um, in a much larger level than just an adjustment. And um, so, yeah, I, you know, I saw him and then he went on vacation for a week. So I had like a week's time of like to just really check him out and check out chiropractic care um, all together. And I was able to email him a couple of times and just kind of laid out, you know, everything, you know, everything that's like been a big, huge stressor in my life to how, you know, came to be diagnosed with MS and, and, and all of that. And, and we just kind of started there. Um, so yeah, I really like checked out chiropractic care a lot. <laughs> well, and that's, so I didn't, what is, I guess the full, can you give us an overview of, where where is that scope of practice for a chiropractor because i mean i had no idea that it went beyond yeah, so, going in for yeah. an adjustment <laughs> and i would say um i'm just talking off at the top of my head so anybody listening that really and i'm sure it probably varies from state to state but mm -hmm. definitely do your own research but i can tell you you know you will have chiropractors that their practice is just based solely on doing adjustments which is is great um but chiropractic care is kind of like, you know, doing occupational therapy or physical therapy that you can get extra training in different areas. Wow. Um, so uh, chiropractic care, you know, they don't prescribe medication and stuff. So it's not like a medical base um, practice. It is about health and wellness. And so, you know, you'll find chiropractors that are uh, have extra training in you know, supplements and diet and acupuncture and um, other different modalities along, you know, those lines. Um, and that kind of is what he does. He he looks at the whole big picture. Um, and I've done acupuncture, you know, with him and, uh, and massage therapy and, uh, and all of that. Um, so, yeah, definitely anybody that wants to know more about chiropractic, like check out and do your own research um, in whatever state you live in. But it is, I'm sure it's kind of like, you know, being a therapist, You when you go to school, you get the basics. And then mm -hmm. when you continue in ed, you know, you can kind of take those classes, uh, you know, things that you're more interested in. And he really has built his practice um, about health and wellness. Well, that's amazing. Well, yeah. I'll hopefully get um, anybody's information that we talk about today and put it in the show notes if they're if they're okay with that. Just that way, yeah, anybody yeah. kind of. I guess he's in the Dallas area, right? Yes, he's in Ennis, which is between. It's probably about fifty miles south of Dallas. Okay, so anybody that's kind of in that area, if they have yeah. a chiropractic need, maybe he's the person they should check out and do some research on. Right. <laughs> and you know, and as far as like. You know, and I'm, I'm in the office and, you know, doing whatever treatments. And so you kind of overhear, you know, other people and what they're going through and, and sit there and talk to them about what they're going through. And I really like him because I do think chiropractors get a bad rap, like ambulance chasers or whatever. But if he cannot help you, he's going to tell you he can't help you and he's going to send you someplace else that he thinks they can help you, you know. Um, and so I really appreciate that about him. He's so genuine in his care. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I love that. So then what, what was, I guess, the initial kind of healthy lifestyle diet that he put you on? What, what did that consist of? And then take us through, like, the different transitions you've had with diet from, you know, macronutrient tracking now all the way up into your ketogenic lifestyle. Okay. <clears throat> well, he put me on uh, what is called an adrenal body type diet, uh, which was developed by another chiropractor, and his name is Dr. Eric Berg. And um, it's really about um, detoxing your body and healing the adrenal glands, which stress is a direct, 
I guess has a direct impact on your adrenal glands because your adrenal glands are what secretes the hormones that uh, stress causes. You know, mm -hmm. if somebody's chasing you, your adrenal glands are going to release, uh, you know, um, adrenaline so that you can run or uh, stress is going to make your adrenal glands release um, cortisol. Cortisol, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and so that's why stress is a huge factor on weight gain or weight loss. Um, and sometimes why you can have your diet correct, but if you don't have your stress under control, you still may not lose weight kind of thing. So, um, so the diet initially began with um, like a liver detoxification over a couple of weeks. Basically, it was, you know, some, like all of your carbs and stuff would be, or all your vegetables and fruits would be very low carb, high fiber, um, cruciferous vegetables, you know, like your cauliflower, uh, cauliflower broccoli, cabbage, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, your fruits would be the ones that were higher in fiber and lower in sugar. So, for example, you know, an apple is higher in fiber. Um, and lower in sugar than a banana. So a banana would not be a choice on my, on that particular diet. Right. Um, that like kind of berries stuff. or like pears. Or exactly, exactly. So, um, so, I mean, that was my diet. I didn't really have to track or anything and you didn't, I didn't really have to. Uh, and, and of course at that time I wasn't eating much of anything. So it was kind of a, a process of, you know, reminding myself to eat. Um, so, you know, I just started doing it and I was like all in, I had nothing to lose, you know, I already felt like crap. So the only place I had to go was up. So right. I was all in and, you know, the weight just kind of started melting off and then, you know, less information in my body and I was feeling better. And, uh, you know, so it's kind of like, it's always cause and effect. You know, if I do this and I feel better, then I'm going to keep doing it. If I do this and I feel worse, then, you know, probably you shouldn't do it. Um, so it was just kind of a, you know, the better I felt, the more energy I had and, and everything. And I'll, I'll never forget, I was, I had just left Target. I was sitting at the red light and I noticed it was awful cloudy and fixing to rain. And it dawned on me that, my, I wasn't in severe pain, which I normally would be. And I texted Doc. I'm like, hey, it's fixing the rain, but I'm not having any pain, you know. And, uh, of course, he kind of laughed at me. But it was like, to me, it was kind of a huge victory. Like, you know, I'm doing what I can control, which is my diet. And I'm having huge benefits, you know, from my health on that. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to this segment of the Fitness Empowerment Podcast. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to listen to the full length episodes, then please head on over to iTunes or SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, Outcast, Google Play, Pocket Casts, and all the links will be in the description box below. And I can't wait to see you over on those other platforms for the complete episodes. Thanks so much. And I'll see you all there. Bye.